Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode with your firefighter realtor here in the DFW area. Today we're going to be going over March 2022 DFW's real estate market. So if you guys are looking to move here, if you guys are buying, selling, moving out of state, whatever it is, let me know. I'd be happy to help you with any real estate needs you guys have. Um, alrighty guys, so go ahead and like and subscribe. You guys don't want to miss this episode. I'm really excited some of the uh, information with some of the information I'm going to be giving out to you guys. So listen up. Alrighty guys, so we can't go without saying last week the inflation went up. The Fed go, went ahead and increased the rates and they have predicted uh, another six, uh, six times they will be doing this. So what does that mean? Who wins during, what is inflation first, right? So it's a decrease in purchasing power uh, and it's usually reflected in the price of um, goods and services. So um, food, commodities, different commodities, or if you're building a house, lumber, right? It's all reflected in those prices. Usually the person that wins during this, uh, when in, during inflation are the borrowers. And that's because when they borrow that money, that lender is giving them that money. And when they pay it back, it's worth less money. So that lender is actually, they're, they're gambling with their money that they'll be able to get their um, money more because of the interest rates. But since these interest rates are going up, guess what? That lender's like, sweet, I'm gonna be making more money off my money, right? Um, so what does that mean for buyers in a housing market? That means that you'll be paying just a little bit more for your house if those interest rates go up, okay? So let's go ahead and review what DFW is. DFW is the fourth largest metroplex in the United States. It also has the fourth busiest airport in the world, okay, by total passengers. Just by itself, DFW has, that. that's incredible, guys. This place is just meant for growth. Okay, alongside with Love Airport, um, Love Field, it, it's crazy busy here. It's a big financial district. Um, but the, you know, I, I do have some notes here, so I wanna kind of share with you guys that I've been doing some research on, is the housing market doesn't mean, does, it isn't gonna be slowing down here in the DFW, I don't see it. Um, as you can see in, in February, the, you know, as you can see in February right now in Dallas County, the cost up right now, you can see right here, 9.2% for February, from February of 21. From February 21, also the active listings have gone up 44.8%. The inventory has gone down from 1.3 of last year, February of 21, to now 0 0.7. What does that mean? That means that if nothing else is listed on the market, it would take right now 0.7 of a month for all the inventory to go away. Now, from you could ask a lot of different people, but a buyer's market is usually around six to eight months worth of inventory supply. Right now, it is definitely a seller's market with less than a month to sell. That means sellers can take almost whatever, whatever they want for their house. And the total days on the market right now is 61 days here in 2022. That's 19 days less than 2021. Uh, let's just look at Collin County right now. That includes cities like Frisco, McKinney, Allen. Uh, they only have 0.4 months of inventory compared to last year's February of 0.7. That's, that's incredible. Uh, let's go to the other side of Parker County. Uh, they have 0.6 month inventory supplies compared to 0.8. And Parker County involves, uh, you have Weatherford out there and lots of different cities, little little towns that are gonna be exploding here pretty soon. And uh, as you can see, January's total sales, 7,100 up 4% with an increase of 17% of average increase in price from these houses. That's incredible. I believe that if you guys are wanting to buy or sell, it's always good to have all the information you have, you can have to go ahead and make that, that decision for yourself or for your family. So if you guys need any of that information, I'd be happy to email you guys, take a look at it. Um, I have weekly re reports that come to me for, for the housing market here in DFW. Um, you know, these rates aren't the lowest they've been here in these past two years, but comparatively, comparatively from the past years, these rates are still pretty low. Um, so go ahead and um, 
you know, I'm not a financial advisor. Go ahead and seek financial advice from somewhere else, but I'm just letting you know, these are just straight reports from my MLS and from other housing, uh, housing market reports. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Go ahead and like and subscribe. If, you, if this was a value to you, great. If you guys want me to add anything else for next month's topic or for next month's um, market real estate update, I'd be happy to do that for you guys. Um, that's it. There, your Firefly Realtor is out. I'm going to go ahead and start working on some uh, client listings. Alrighty, guys. Peace.